Right then. What we're looking to do today is we're looking to use the 1980s DOS based Cyan Organizer Developer Kit to develop a data pack on a PC ready for transferring onto a Cyan Organizer using the comms link. The, uh, the first thing the manual will tell us to do, and the manual is uh, available on YAP's web archive, by the way, with the software as well. Uh, the manual will tell us to pull all the files that we want to use together into, uh, into one place. I have set up a working directory close to the root drive of drive C because these DOS commands don't like complicated um, file structures. So I've kept it right at the end. I'm using Microsoft command com window to run these DOS based commands and I've got it running in XP mode. The first command that the manual will tell me to use is OPL tran. That will translate OPL procedures into organizer binary files type 3. It will tell me to create a, uh, a notepad file uh, with the file extension TRN and in that file I put a list of all the files that I want to translate into organizer binary files type 3. It works through the list and conver converts each one. So now I've got the machine code language program procedure files on the uh, in my directory ready for uh, building into a data pack. The uh, the data pack command, build pack, uh, the manual will tell you to uh, make a small, another notepad file with the file extension BLD, and in that you make a list of all the files that you want build pack to take and make and build into a pack. I've got the quiz pack and it's 32, it'll be a 32k data pack. So I can uh, launch that command in my command window. You might want to use DOSBox rather than command com if you can't get it to work. And uh, build pack at quiz pack and it will run those, uh, take all those files and build them into a pack. It's a uh, data pack, quiz pack, OPK and it's 97% full as you can see. Now that data pack is available to use. It's ready to actually transfer from the PC onto the Cyan organizer using a comms link. But before I do that, I want to show you another way. Yaps wrote this fantastic OPK file editor and it's available for us to use and to build the pack rather than using uh, that build pack DOS function. Uh, so if we go to Yaps website and we find his uh, OPK file editor, there we go, using Cyan, using Yaps uh, OPK file editor, we can uh, open up his uh, file editor, make it full screen, and we can select a new pack. Uh, we can look at the header information on the pack and make it, uh, set it up to what we want it to be. So we want a bootable pack, and we want it to be 32K, because at 32K it's going to be 97% full. I'll accept those details. Now to make it a bootable pack, uh, the first thing on the pack wants to be some uh, information that the organizer will use to boot the uh, quiz menu onto the top line of the uh, standard menu. There it is, boot bin. I can, uh, that's a binary file. I can drag that across, and that will be the first thing that the organizer finds, and that will tell it how to make uh, the pack bootable. We can remember the name of the uh, files that we want to bring across. So the next thing is to look for the OB3s, the procedure files. Uh, so we can import them across. It's looking again in my working directory. And there we go, add top down to tis. And uh, I can open them and pull those across. And they're the first thing on the pack. Uh, the next thing to think about is the database files. I need to bring across the uh, questions files, the organizer database files, ODBs. There we go, Q footy down to quiz. Uh, and I can drag those across and put those into the pack and there they are tucked away behind the procedures uh, down at the pack. If we, uh, when we go to the bottom, if we choose the uh, one of the records, the last record in the pack, the uh, let's just go back to the top and make sure that it has pulled across. Yeah, there we go, question 20, which is not, so that's fine, so that's across. All that leaves now is the help files. Well, we're using the OPLs, sorry, the Cyan organizers notepad function so we've got three OB7s, three notepad files, I can drag those across and those are three help files that will help the user to uh, to use the uh, quiz pack. 
Uh, let's just click on one there and make sure there's some information has been pulled across. And yep, there we go. Quiz main menu help. So everything's fine there. All that leaves me to do now is to save the pack as. I haven't worked out how to give it a name, but we'll uh, we'll accept the default name there. Uh, pack name OPK. And that's merrily tucked away in my downloads folder, uh, ready for me to transfer across to an organizer. So that is what video two is going to do. It's going to deal with that transfer operation. But before I go to all that trouble of uh, transferring a pack only to find out that one of the procedures is corrupt or the database file's not uh, configured properly, I can test out the OPK in another one of the app's fantastic inventions, he's uh, developed a an emulator that works on a web page. It's called it Jape, and we can we can use this to test the data pack uh, before we actually go to all the trouble of burning a pack on the uh, actual organizer. So what we'll do first is we'll just adjust the screen slightly, and then uh, I've got an LZ64 here, so I'll uh, I'll make this the same, and I'll select that. And then I'll select a pack, I'll select the uh, quiz pack, OPK, that's in my working directory. Let's have a look, where is it? There, there it is. So we can drag that across into the, uh, into the emulator. I can give it a name in the emulator. Again, I'll call it quiz pack. Uh, I'll create that, and I'll put that in slot B. So I'm ready now to turn on the organizer. Uh, when I turn on the organizer, I'll get the standard uh, startup screen, uh, 1986, and I can adjust the contract or contrast on the screen, uh, which is just like a standard organizer. I think that's really great. Choose a language, and quiz there is booted onto the top line, so I know that the boot bit's working. Uh, if I go into quiz, it tells me that uh, I haven't actually swapped a database file off the pack into uh, memory A. So I can come out of that, exit yes, and that's what we can do. We can have a look and see if the swap option's working. Uh, I can use a down arrow key. That should cycle through all of the uh, database files, the questions databases on the pack. I can choose one. I can press S to swap, and I can swap that into pack A, into the main memory, and that becomes the questions file. Uh, before I go into that, let's just check if some of the other functions are working. We'll have a look at RAM. So I can click on RAM. Uh, select A, tells me I've got 52k available, so I know that that function's working. And then we'll just check that time's working. But because we haven't done a quiz, we should find that uh, if when we select time, there's no time available. But we'll, at least we know it's working. We go into quiz, the top line shows me the key presses, down arrow says look at the answers, up arrow says look at the question again, down arrow, choose one, two, or three. Uh, which choose, choose one, yep, it's correct, and 5% tells me one question out of 20, so I've got 5% right. Choose another answer. So we know now that the actual quiz pack is working. I can press on to come out of it. Uh, we'll just check that the clear function's working. So we can go down to clear, and that will clear up the memory in drive A, yes, to exit that. So we know now that the database is working, and we're ready to actually transfer it using the next video. Uh, so uh, that's about it from here. We can just turn off and uh, good luck.